our salt fish and vegetable cook down. All right, and you can serve it with your water crackers here. So you can put the water crackers on the top of it like this, or if you want to put it on the side, that's all right too. Or you can simply just put it in the pot before you remove it from the fire, okay? So before you remove it from the heat, you can put it in the pot so it can steam a little bit with the vegetables, just for a couple seconds, and then you remove it. So that can be done as well, all right? Hey, 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 Facebook Nation. Welcome to another episode of Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. But please don't go anywhere because we are going to be right back. Welcome back to Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show. And as you could see tonight's chef, she's already all hyped. She's dancing along with the intro and everything. So we are about to have an amazing show. And so, of course, tonight we are coming out of Chef Champion's Kitchen out of Kingston, Jamaica, featuring his amazing wife, Chef Janet Jackson Dino. Okay? So, Chef Janet Jackson, how are you this week? How are you today? I am doing fantastic, John. Doing great. How are you? I'm doing super amazing. And I must say that I'm even more so excited about the our premiere last week. Oh, yeah. Having seen the, um, the reviews from the playback oh. on YouTube, it was amazing. But that was a success, right? And it was, yeah, but but Facebook was doing pretty well too. We did get a lot of, you know, viewers. So for it being the premiere, I really, I, I was really proud of the, of the, of the um, turnout. So of course tonight is going to be no different. I'm sure you have another amazing production for us tonight. So tell the viewers what you're going to be making tonight. All right. Well, tonight I will be cooking for you. Straight out of Chef Champion's kitchen, salt fish and vegetable cook down. All right, so are we ready, John? We are ready. And if you are not quite um, familiar with the term salt fish, that's just another name for codfish. But she's wow. going to be making this bad boy Jamaican style. So, hey, hit the share button on your device and invite folks to come on over and check out this cooking demo tonight and every Friday night at 8.30 p.m. right here. Go ahead, Chef. All right, so as Joan mentioned that um, saltfish is otherwise called codfish in the rest of the world. So uh, to prepare this dish, the first thing we do is we remove the skin from the codfish, all right, or the saltfish, remove the skin from that before we boil it. The reason we do that is to get rid of the excess amount of salt. All right, because remember that this fish is cured with salt. All right, so we don't want to have too much salt in it at the end of the dish. So we remove the skin first before we boil and then we boil it. So we boil it for approximately 15, 20 minutes and then we immerse it in some cold water after that. That also removes some more salt from it. All right, so this is what you get after doing all of that. This is what it looks like. Then we remove most of the bones from it and uh, we uh, cut it in small pieces. All right, so this is our salt fish or our codfish that we'll be using tonight. That's the main ingredient of the dish tonight. All right, and uh, it's accompaniment. So what we have tonight, we have some onion, of course. Yes, we need some onion for that. All right, so we have some sliced onions and we have some carrots here as well, some sliced carrots. And don't forget that you could cut your vegetables in whatever style you want. All right, it's all up to you how you want to cut your vegetables, whether you want to slice or julienne or chopped or whatever. It's all up to you. All right, so we have some carrots here and we have some pumpkin. Yes, pumpkin. And this is going to add some texture. It's going to add some color to your dish as well. All right, here we also have some sliced tomatoes. All right, 
and um, our salt fish is already here. Then we have some coconut milk, fresh coconut milk. How could we have a cook down without some fresh coconut milk? And then we have some bell peppers here. So whatever colors you have, just to add some color to your dish, then you can put it there. More than one color, then of course, that's great. So here tonight we have some green and yellow bell peppers. All right, we also have some okra. All right, because this is going to add some texture and some flavor to your dish as well. Our very own okra, yeah? There's no cook down without okra in Jamaica. And then over here, we do have some cabbage, some chopped cabbage, all right? And we have some chopped pak choy as well. All right, and then we're going to add some seasoning as we go along, some all-purpose seasoning. Yeah, both of them, different ones. Also, you can finish it off with good squash bunny pepper. Uh-huh, this is our anthem. But guess what, tonight you're gonna bypass it because the kids have to eat some of it. I told you already, my kids like to eat, all right? So I have to eliminate this, but this, ah, love it. All right, so are we ready for action, John? Yes, I'm ready for action. And while you getting in action, I'm gonna be sitting here. I'm sipping on my sorrel tonight. Last week I had ginger wine. Tonight I have the sorrel, which is the leftover from my Christmas, good Christmas drink. So I'm sipping on my sorrel, so please do take it away. Beautiful. All right, so here we go. We're gonna start. All right, let's give me a minute here. Let me get some light here. All right, so we have over here our pan. Yeah, it's on top of my stove getting heated. All right, and that is to saute off my vegetables. So I'm gonna start with the onions, first of all. All right, we're gonna saute off the onions first. All right. All right. And this is a very easy dish as well, John. All right, so you can also use this for breakfast, all right, because it's very light and it has a lot of vegetables, or you can use it for dinner. All right, so if you want a light dinner with not too much meat, then of course, this is excellent. All right, so I'm gonna add my onions right now to my already heated oil. And and, and so um, let me just um, reiterate what Chef Champion just posted. So for us Jamaicans who are familiar with the term rundown, please know that this is not rundown. This is um, saltfish cooked vegetable, okay? So this is not run down. This is called cook down. That's okay. It. All right. Run down at all. All right. Then I'm gonna add some carrots as well to that. So the carrots, nicely sauteed with our onions. It's all about the vegetables tonight. So if you are a vegetarian, this is also a beautiful dish. You can remove the fish, remove the salt fish, and there you have it. If you are not a strict vegetarian and you do fish, then you can have it like it is. Ain't go wrong with, with, with salt fish. I have some ackee and salt fish in the fridge right now. I save the rest for breakfast tomorrow. So, you know, it's about to go so, down in my kitchen tomorrow. Yep. Yes, viewers, these are all easy, authentic Jamaican dishes that you can make without spending two hours in the kitchen or even depriving yourself of not being able to, you know, taste some good Jamaican cooking. Again, we know that like now, due to the pandemic, folks are not able to go out like they used to, to eat at Jamaican restaurants. But guess what? You can do it yourself. So here is the do-it-yourself version. And again, tonight, we are making saltfish and vegetable cook down. That's right. So during this pandemic, everybody can be a chef, right? I don't know if Chef Champion is going to agree with that, but I said, okay. <laughs> Everybody can be a chef in this pandemic. <laughs> that's why we come up with all these easy dishes. 
as you mentioned before, all these things are different, but you can be the help. All right, so here we have our vegetables nicely. Okay, we don't want them to be burnt, so we constantly stir them. That's the pumpkin that I've just added there. Right. And so, viewers, if you're watching from the We Global Network, Okay, from the We Global community, rather. If you do not give StreamYard the permission to show your name, it won't. So I see here a lot of names coming up as just Facebook users. So if I can't tell who you are, somebody said good evening. Well, good evening back to you. <laughs> Dr. Jones, that here is Gork. Okay, thank you. Scott Barnett Pepper, yes, thank you. But unfortunately, I cannot know I don't know the name. So if you're in the We Global community, you may have to put your name next to your comment only because if you don't give StreamYard the permission, then it will not display your name. But if you're on my page, then you're good. And if you're in uh, YouTube, you're also good. And speaking of YouTube, don't forget to go to YouTube and subscribe to Chef Champion Kitchen. There you can see even more of great cooking taking place. So again, please subscribe, okay? From YouTube at Chef Champion Kitchen. We are gonna make sure that the world by any channel possible will see this great cooking and can be able to make some of these things for themselves. So thank you again. And if you're just joining in, you're watching Taste of the Tropics on the Joan Henry Show featuring Chef Champion Kitchen out of Kingston, Jamaica. And tonight we are making saltfish and vegetable cook down. Right. All right, so we've just added our tomatoes to the rest of the vegetables, our tomatoes, nicely sauteed here. And after that, we're gonna add our saltfish or our codfish. All right. And this is, as I mentioned before, this is already boiled to remove the excess sauce. I'm supposed to get it somewhat tender. So let me ask you, um, Chef Janet, um, mm -hmm. about how many times would you recommend um, boiling that saltfish to get rid of the salt before you're actually ready for it to, you know, to, to before you can eat it? Well, actually, um, if you boil your salt fish, as I said, some people don't remove the skin from the salt fish. But if you don't remove the skin, then it will take more salt or it's more difficult to um My grandmother used to just soak the salt fish before cooking. So she put it in, you know, a pot of water and soak it and then boil it. But, you know, these days we have so many people with, you know, underlying illnesses like hypertension and so on. You still want to enjoy sauces, right? So I would suggest you remove the skin from the fish before you actually boil it. And that gets rid of the excess salt faster. Then after doing so, then after boiling, then you immerse it in some cold water again. And then there you go, you have your fish. Same flavor, let's go. Alrighty. So now, John, I'm going to add my coconut milk. Yeah, my fresh coconut milk. I'm going to add it now to the pot. This is where the cook down starts. Alright. The coconut milk is added. Alright. I'll do this on the low heat. So, so you've added you've added the carrots, the coconut milk, the uh -huh. onions, all that good stuff. So if you're just tuning in, you're gonna have to rewind so that you can see where she started. 
there was a process to get to where we are now and it's an amazing process so you may want to rewind and um, so you can be fully aware of how she got to where she is right now all righty okay so there we have it here our mill is incorporated smells beautiful already Ooh. and if you think you need a little bit more liquid you can just add a little water that's fine you can just add not too much you can add a little bit of water to that just allow it to cook a little That looks amazing already. Wow. Smells good, John. Smells good. Wow, that is that is beautiful. And let me just shout out the amazing camera operator over there. Miss um I did write your name down. Miss Nikayla. Miss Nikayla, thank you so much because you are the you're operating that camera and you make sure that, you know, you, you're doing a good job. We are able to see what she's doing. Thank you for doing such an amazing job. Thank you. Appreciate that. She's my daughter. Okay. Hi, daughter. <laughs> did I add what did you some? Okay. Yes. No, I was asking, what did you just add? I just, yeah, I was just about to say that I've added my green bell peppers, okay? And now I'm adding the yellow ones. All right. Some green bell peppers and the yellow ones. Some of it I've added. So that is cooking down as well. And then I'm going to add the okra. We don't want them to be totally cooked or too soft. So we're adding them now. So we still have a little crunch, a little bite in there. Okay. That just looks good already. Wow. Oh, it's beautiful. And if, if you're watching and if you have any question for Chef Champion, please drop it in the feed. We love to ask him questions. Go ahead and drop those questions in the feed. You know, Chef is not just a chef, he's a trainer, and he have this training for waiters coming up in coming up in a few weeks so keep oh. it locked so that you can learn all about that upcoming training for waiters okay chef champion is a cook he's a trainer and he just have the best wife that just know how to represent in the kitchen all right now chef janet jackson dinner what are you doing now yay okay so i've added my okra and now i'm adding some seasoning to that Got to be mindful of the seasoning though, because remember it's salt fish in there already. So I'm just I'm gonna add a tiny bit of my all-purpose seasoning, both of them. Not too much, just for flavor, for taste. All right. That looks so healthy. Ugh. This is beautiful. All right, so that is cooking for about three minutes two to three minutes and we're good then i'm going to add my cabbage and my back toy all right this is going to cook a little bit let me see if i can cover this pot a little bit john okay, that's so. all like such a healthy vegetable cook down and it is so simple it does not take a lot of time you don't have to have a chef certification to make this. You just need to watch this video and you should be able to do it. Beautiful. Wow. This is beautiful. Whew. All right. So the upper is cooking nicely. Yeah. All right, so this is our cabbage, right? Our chopped cabbage, so we're gonna add the cabbage. You know, cabbage cooks quickly, okay? So this doesn't need too much time to cook, so we're gonna add the cabbage. All right, right away. 
So if you're just tuning in again, you're watching saltfish and vegetable um, cook down. That's what's being made right now. Saltfish and vegetable cook down. Uh, this is an amazing dish out of Chef Champions Kitchen out of Kingston, Jamaica. And again, for more amazing cooking, you can follow Chef Champion on YouTube at Chef Champion. All right, beautiful. And then we also and have so some right here. So we're adding the pak choy as well. Alrighty. Wow, that, that pak chow look really fresh. Look like fresh. Fresh. Got it in the market today. Wow. Fresh. And so whatever portal you're watching from, whether you're watching from Facebook or YouTube, just know that we appreciate you for tuning in. And again, this is not a one-time show. This is every Friday at 8.30 p.m. on the Joan Henry Show, Taste of the Tropics, featuring Chef Champion's Kitchen. All right. So we're going to cover this a little bit again. So we're allowing it to steam a little bit. Okay. okay and don't forget if you have any question feel free to drop it in the feed we're letting chef off the hook too too easily you all need to um throw some question at him yeah he love to ask the question he's a trainer he's a teacher he's a chef he he is, he is. i want to see some questions for the chef we got to put him to work I'm gonna have this for my dinner tonight. I didn't have dinner yet, so this is gonna be my dinner tonight. Okay. I'm sure, it's gonna be good. All right. Wow. Look at this. Oh my goodness, that is just super. Look at that vegetable dish, y'all. I mean, you can't go wrong with this. Oh my goodness, this looks so healthy. I could only imagine. And I think I'm gonna try this one one day this week. Yep. This is nice. And we can send you the ingredients. We have it. As absolutely, because I mean, I've, I've made something similar and anybody that knows Jamaican Joe know that I like to be in the kitchen. But I have not put um, coconut milk in there, so I'm going to have to try to do it with the coconut milk because that yes. looks great. That coconut milk does add the flavor. That's the flavor you want there with the coconut milk. It changes the entire dish. The whole taste is different. The coconut milk. Very, okay. very good. So, okay, awesome. So Michelle Hammond out of Eastern Shore. Unfortunately, no, they do not have personal chef services to come to eastern shore maryland because they are in jamaica that is why we are showing it to you so you can learn how to make it yourself hey I'm michelle glad. darling how are you doing today <laughs> great question though i wish they were in the states because i know where my food would be coming from but yeah but i'm sorry michelle they are in kingston jamaica so make sure you follow the recipe Get all the ingredients, and trust me, you can make it yourself. It's being prepared right in front of our very own eyes today, and it's, it's Sorry, easy. Sorry, Sorry. 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 Um, Chef Janet, um, Chef Champion wants to know, did you put pumpkin? I did, I did. Yes, the pumpkin is already there. Yeah, See, if I you're... If you all keep those questions coming, then Chef Champion wouldn't be asking the chef did she put pumpkin. See, y'all yes, need to have some questions. For chef. Pumpkin yeah. is already adding color to our pot. Chef have too much time on his hands tonight. So, Chef, somebody wants to know if you will do a virtual cooking class. So, let me see the response to that. Response to that, Chef. Yeah. How about a virtual cooking class? Is that something that you would be willing to do? We're almost there now. So before we finish that dough, what I'm gonna do here is add just a little bit more of my yellow bell peppers. 
That's the color. And the green. Just a little bit. Because we're almost at the end of the cooking process. Okay? So just add that at the end. You're gonna be you and the kids gonna be eating very good today. Oh wow. Yeah. We're gonna have a ball tonight. And they said they pointed the finger at me, they said, Mommy, make sure no pepper. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm sorry, Chef. So that oh, so Chef was asking me a question. Did do I put pumpkin in mind when I make it? Nope. So then I gotta put the coconut milk and the pumpkin. That's so right. yep, I will do that moving forward. Thank you, Chef. <laughs> and so for the person, uh, hold on one second, <laughs> Chef Janet. So for the person who asked about the cooking class, Chef just responded that yes, we will be doing that as well soon. So keep it okay. locked, and you will keep get that locked. information. Go ahead, Chef Janet. There we go. All right. So we are about, as we would say in Jamaica, the boat soon land. The boat is ready to land. Right? You remember those terms? John, you remember that, right? Of course. You run a boat and then the boat land, right? You run a boat and the boat land, right? You know. So that's what's happening in the spot now. The boat is ready to land, right? So we're going to remove this from the heat. It's ready to go. And then I'm going to present it to you and we can we can serve this with you can serve it with either fried plantains the fried dumplings the boiled bananas you can even serve it with some crackers you know some water crackers the good old jamaican water crackers you can serve it with that also so right. chef janet before yeah. your before your finale before your presentation can you just recap for somebody who may just be tuning in at this point what are the ingredients that you've used tonight okay so the ingredients tonight is your your cod fish of course the salt fish then we put some onions in we put the pumpkin as chef Sh um, champion mentioned the pumpkin we put some tomatoes we put the red and green um sorry the yellow and green bell peppers we um, put the cabbage and the okra and the pak choy so those are the vegetables that we use tonight all right and then we season the pot so you put a little bit of your own proper seasoning to the pot to taste and your coconut milk don't forget that secret ingredient which is the fresh coconut milk i'm all right so we're gonna take out the flame from here now and then are you ready to ready to present this now yes and while you're getting ready to prepare can you use the coconut milk from the can I'm, I'm asking you, for somebody you, else. Yeah, if you if you don't have the available um, fresh coconut milk, you can. You can, of course. You can. And that's how uh, most people are going now, you know. So, but the, the fresh one is the, the best, you know. But if you, if you can, of course, it will do the job. So you okay. can use it. Some people have the powder. So you can use the powder also. Oh. A fresh coconut and milk. And somebody wants to know, could you have substituted with um, butternut squash instead of pumpkin? Yes, you know, because pretty much they're kind of from the same family. So you could, not so sure if you will get that color though, that, that, you know, that we get from the pumpkin might not be, you know, because if you look in the pot, you can see we're having like a yellowish color. That's from the pumpkin. So not so sure if the butternut squash will aid that color. But um, you could try it. You could try it. Everyone from the same family, so you could try. Okay. Thank you all for these amazing questions. Thank you so much, Chef Janet Jackson Dinner, for answering to these questions. And we are waiting for the finale. We're waiting for the presentation of this amazing dish: the saltfish and vegetable cook down. Wow. wow. Yep. All right. So we're going to put it one over here. And, and while you do that, let me just expound on the response I gave earlier regarding the classes surrounding the virtual cooking. So chef just um, type that we will start classes from basic and it will be a part of American Culinary Federation, ACF, when 
I certify individuals. So you can get a certi certification from those classes once once they are launched. And of course, it's going to be virtually. So, yep. Ooh, look at that. Look at that presentation wow. about to take place. I'm excited. Wow. This is beautiful, John. What is that you're putting it in? What's that white thing? Actually, I was about to tell you that. We're using a, a, cab a cabbage leaf here. Okay? So a leaf from the cabbage we're using here. To put our cook down in, our salt fish and vegetable cook down. Okay, wow, that's that's just amazing. This is beautiful. Oh, it smells so good. Woo! See? Y'all are killing me with all this good cooking, and all I have here is my sorry. Let me take a drink. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that. Yeah, I'm sure y'all gonna be really excited when this all this cooking, virtual cooking class begin on on YouTube. Yeah, so just to let you know that's gonna be on YouTube and it's coming soon and you will be getting a certification a certificate for that program with the man himself, Mr. Chef Champion. Oh wow. And as I said, Joan, you could serve it with whatever you want. So, you know, like a, a slice of yellow yam, you want to keep it, you know, Jamaican, a slice of yellow yam, some boiled green bananas, um, fried green plantains, some fried dumplings, whatever you like. Or, everybody knows what this is, right? <laughs> ah, good old water crackers. Okay. I'm just Would you recommend stick. that with rice? Yes, you could. You could, but if you want to stay on the lighter side, you don't want to go rice, but you could. You could serve it with rice if you want to, uh, to be a bit more filling. All right? So, there we go. Look at that. Ooh. All right. Presentation. Ah. So, there we have it. There we have it. Our salt fish and vegetable cook down. Let's Turn it around. It. Look at that. And if you're looking at those two things, those are crackers. They are famously known as water crackers out of Jamaica. Yes. Bring it up to the camera some more. Come on, camera girl. Come through. Yeah, that is absolutely beautiful. The final presentation. And if you're just tuning in, you missed it. You need to go back to the beginning so you could see the ingredients in its raw form. And then you will understand how she has gotten to where she is right now with this amazing production and finale of saltfish and vegetable cook down. And as you yeah. can see on the clock, it's only around 30 minutes. All yeah. this took only about 30 minutes, so it's not hard to prepare. These are vegetables that you can find just about anywhere in any store. So you can do this. You can absolutely do Michelle, this. Michelle said that it looks really nice. Thank you, Michelle. Beautiful. Wish you could have wow. some Michelle, but next time. Okay. Yes. Okay. <laughs> awesome. 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 So, Chef Janet Jackson Dino, this was yet another amazing production out of Chef Champion's Kitchen. And I'm going to throw a challenge out there. Uh -huh. I'm going to challenge the viewers to prepare this dish at your home and post the pictures. I'll allow you to post that picture in the We yep. Global community so that others can see it. Once you make this dish, I want you to post the picture, okay? And um, so hold it up again, um, Chef Janet, so that people can see it. Look at that. And even just the creativity with the piece of cabbage, the way you, you, you decorate it, I mean, that is just amazing, 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 amazing. Wow. So Michelle said that her ticket is in the works to go to Jamaica. When you're ready, girl, just let me know. When you're ready, when you're ready, Michelle. <laughs> yeah, Michelle likes to travel, so I'm sure that's, that's not even a joke right there. But this was amazing. Thank you so much. So I know that you always have some folks you want to shout out, and I'm sure this video is going to be replayed on YouTube. 
So yes. start shouting out some folks right now from all your other right. platform. Okay, so to all our supporters, yes, all our supporters, our sponsors, our sponsors, please, please pick up yourself. We couldn't have done it without you. And all our supporters, those who have been supporting Chef Trampton's Kitchen, please continue to do so. Big up yourself. We love you. We love you. We love you. Shout out to um, all my Caymanians, um, my Indians, my Indians. Oh my God, my Filipinos. Big up yourself. Big up yourself. We've seen you liking, sharing, and subscribing. And um, all the fans over there in the US, in New York, Connecticut. Uh, big up yourself, guys. All right. Um, this is Janet Jackson from Chef Champions Kitchen. One more time for you. Yes, awesome. And of course, you know, Jamaican Joan. You you see the way I'm repping my Jamaican shirt tonight. Did you see that? Of course. <laughs> so check this. I want to shout out everyone who have tuned in locally and internationally, no matter where you watch from tonight or where you're watching the replay i just want to shout you out i want to shout out everyone in jamaica and not just jamaica but clarendon jamaica and not just clarendon but victoria district home of jamaican joan i just want to shout out everyone from victoria district y'all know yourself you all watch the replay you watch the live big up and you know i totally 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 appreciate your support big up to the man himself mr chef champion thank you for all those responses and again your wife uh she delivered let's just put it this way she has totally delivered tonight this was an amazing production so viewers you cannot keep all this good cooking to yourself you have got to share this video you have got to share this information you can catch us here 8 30 p.m every friday night where you can see amazing cooking and you know someone asked me um janet during the the video you know that little video commercial for the cooking okay. are those real foods and i'm like yes those are pictures of real food that was made in chef champion's kitchen that's not just something from clip art that, those are real <laughs> <laughs> so, how is this? yes I we do I was just tickled when they asked me that. I was like, nope, nope, nope. That's not just a picture from images. That is actually something that was prepared inside of Chef's Kitchen. So um, there we have it. So um, viewers, thank you again. Um, Janet, if you want to hold it up. Yeah, keep it there on um, camera, on the camera lady. Again, I want to big up the amazing camera crew, Miss Michaela. The daughter of the chef said, this is a family affair, you know? The daughter on the video, the wife in the kitchen, chef champion taking care of business. See, now y'all see why I said, you know, this is just the best show ever. Thank you so much for another amazing production. Topped off with the okra and everything else that was a part of tonight's ingredients. Viewers, thank you so much again for tuning in and don't forget to Check out Chef Champions Kitchen on YouTube and subscribe. And um, as always, I thank you for tuning in. And I have been your host, Jamaican Joan. And until next time, you take care and make this a million dollar day. Jamaican Joan and Chef Janet Jackson Dinnell out of Chef Champion Kitchen in Kingston, Jamaica. We are out. Have an amazing weekend. Thank you, girl.